Hi and welcome. Today we're going to do a beautiful lesson. It's a way to improve something I actually shared on the summit and it's your free special giveaway. I hope you enjoy it. So you can start by coming to lay down on your backs. And most importantly is that you're absolutely comfortable. So you can have your legs long, you can bend your legs, you insist on comfort. Take a moment to feel your body. Where does it feel comfortable? Where could it be more comfortable? What does the floor tell you about yourself? Which parts of you sink into the floor lightly, more heavily? You can begin to feel more details. You feel the backs of the heels, calf muscles, how they connect with the floor. Bring your attention to your shoulder blades, your arms and hands. lips, pelvis, and notice how you feel the length of the legs from the hips to the feet. Compare the two legs, maybe you feel the feet point in different directions. Maybe one leg feels more rotated out in the hip than the other. Notice your arms, feel the length of the arms and notice your hands, how do they rest in the floor? I didn't tell you to have your palms up or down or facing inwards, just notice where they naturally rest. Notice maybe one arm is rotated somewhat differently from the other. Notice the spaces between your fingers. My fingers curled up or feeling long or somewhere in between. Do you feel any differences between the two hands and fingers? And when you're ready, bring all your attention to your breathing. And take lots and lots of really good quality time to breathe in. And take all the time that you need to breathe out. Letting everything go. Take some good moments to check in with the flow of your breath, the rhythm of your breath. And then very, very slowly begin to roll your head a little from side to side, super slowly. Feel the different places where the back of the head lean into the floor. And don't roll your head as far as it goes, just very small, easy, gentle movements. And with this movement and all the other movements that we'll be exploring, Always search for ease and comfort and I encourage you to explore these movements. Do it sometimes with the eyes closed and then sometimes with the eyes open. And always try and really internalize what you're feeling. Go deep inside yourself beyond busy thoughts and busy emotions, which can hijack the quality of the movements also they can hijack your muscles too so try and be deeper than any busy thoughts and emotions throughout the duration of this lesson and just observe these lessons in a very pure clear way observing what's happening deep inside you use this movement to really bring awareness into your back here so Noticing any movement in the ribs and also the sides of the ribs, the spine. 
Think of rolling your head in order to make your spine and your ribs more flexible, more comfortable. The next time the head comes to the middle, please bend both your legs, your feet stand on the floor. And begin to, with the knees pointing upwards, lightly roll your pelvis from side to side. Just the tiniest movement from left to right to right to left. And if the knees move with you from side to side, just notice it and then try and keep them still again and see how small you can make it and then make it a tiny bit bigger. Oh, very gently think of rolling your pelvis to bring new degrees of awareness into the rest of yourself. You may feel one hip floating up as the other hip sinks down. What happens with your ribs, your spine? And maybe you can use your feet to help you so you can lightly Gently, like you're just touching very softly the left foot into the ground, press into it softly, but think of the floor really pushing into you to tilt the right side of the pelvis to the floor. And you totally let it go, feeling where you can relax deeper. You can lightly press the right foot into the ground, feel the left side of the pelvis softly leaning into the floor, then totally let it go. And you can begin to direct the movement further up your back and further down your back. Almost like you're going for a little walk with movement and awareness through different parts of your back to really improve your back and improve connections from the feet to different parts of you. And then make the movements smaller, looser, and a little faster, but don't be in a hurry. Go at a really nice, comfortable pace. Okay, let that all go. And when you're ready, begin to lightly roll, tilt, and press the bottom of your pelvis to the floor, feel the lower back making a little arch and your belly lifts a little and as you let that go lightly press the top of the pelvis to the floor so your lower back flattens make it as easy as gentle as you can get a sense of your pelvis floating inside you as if it's floating in a super super calm gentle sea And go really deep inside yourself, feeling connections into the hips, the spine, different joints of the spine. Play with micro movements, big, slightly bigger movements, and be comfortable with not knowing how far you can go. Just be comfortable with exploring the most easy movement you can manage and make it more and more pleasurable. Notice if you soften into your chest more, your head begins to echo the movements of the pelvis. Feel the head rolling gently with you too, allowing the chin to tuck in a little. Feel the chin moving a little away from the chest. Notice where your eyes are looking. And how your powerful pelvis can really mobilize the neck. The pelvis is a very heavy bone. It's used the weight of the pelvis to help to improve the rest of yourself. Can you feel the soles of the feet and how the pressure maybe changes under them a little? And gradually see if you can let your feet do the movement for you. Just leaning the feet into the ground. Thinking of the ground, pushing back up for you. And then make the movements smaller, looser, and a little faster. Oh. 
And then gently bring your feet together. Open your knees out to the sides. Let off the weight of the legs. And with minimum, minimum effort, gently roll, tilt, and press the bottom of the pelvis into the floor. Feel your lower back arching a little. And roll the top of the pelvis to the floor. Feel the lower back flattening. And begin to feel your legs gently floating up and sinking down. Explore the tiniest movements to slightly bigger movements, but never go as far as you can. Okay, notice how the head's rolling, where your eyes are looking, what your chin's doing. Go very slow and keep it very calm and gentle. Breathing slowly, moving slowly. And then squeeze the feet together gently so your knees are lifted a little. And gently roll your pelvis from side to side. Really light, soft movement. Use the weight of your pelvis and Make it really pleasurable. Feel which parts of you float up away from the floor, which parts of you roll into the floor. How is your spine moving for you? And let it all go, lengthen out your legs gently. Give yourselves a very good rest. As you rest, feel how the legs come out of the hips, how they're rotated in the hips, how they rest, which parts of your back are more willing and able to get support from the floor. When you feel ready, please roll to one side, come to sit up. And when you come to sit up, please take your left leg behind you with the foot pointing outwards and stretch your right leg out to the side. Lean onto your right hand, put the left hand on top of the right leg and really use the whole of yourself here, really gently. Don't think of stretching to your foot, but massage your leg with your left hand. Massage all the way towards the foot and the toes. Come back again and feel as you massage your leg, how your pelvis is moving, how your ribs are moving, how through the massaging of your leg can begin to Kind of mobilize you and oil you up from deep inside. Make sure you massage all the toes and feel how your left hip floats up and sinks down. Every now and then let the leg bend as you massage the foot and massage the sole of the foot and the toes. You can explore folding your body down a little. And lengthen it out again. And you can also take your leg somewhere a little different, more to the right. And really feel how you can begin to play with it. You can move the hand by rolling your pelvis or floating up your hip and sinking it down again, or moving from the ribs or explore folding down. But just use your hand. Slide your hand along your leg and make sure you really enjoy it. <clears throat> Bending the leg and lengthening it today.
Also explore hanging out, checking in with your breathing. Once you've explored this enough, let it go. Stretch out your legs. And then when you're ready, bend your right leg out to the side and lengthen out your left leg. Lean onto your left hand. Make sure you're putting good weight on it. And with your right hand, begin to gently massage your left leg. Don't think of stretching. Don't go to where you go and become stiff and tight. Just feel how you can use the weight of your bones to move you. Feel just using the bones and the weight of the bones is really all that you need to do. If you feel any muscles working unnecessarily hard, you can just imagine it's a, like a parasitic muscular effort. And, uh, you want to try and get rid of those. <laughs> you can bend the legs sometimes, make sure you massage the foot, the toes. Lengthen the leg again, take it further out to the side. Really enjoy how you're oiling up your, your bones, your joints. How is the right hip floating up and sinking down? Hang out, check in with your breathing sometimes, feel how your breath flows through you. There's no need to show off to yourself and try and go especially far. Just allow pleasure to guide you. Have great respect for your body. Okay, let that go. Stretch both your legs out to the sides. And now put your right hand behind you. Put the left hand on top of the right leg. And with the left hand, Gently massage the right leg towards the foot and come back again. And think of your legs rolling in the hips. Allow your left foot to really turn with you. And every now and then, bend the leg that you're massaging. You can fold your body forwards and down and allow the other foot to really turn so the heel lifts off the floor. And you can come back, try with the long leg again, and really feel how you can use the power of your powerful pelvis to really help you in. And whenever you want to, you can hang out, check in with your breathing, or do little small massage moves using your joints of your thumb or the palm of the hand. Yeah, it's nice to rest in different places. You find what feels good for you. Okay, let that go. Take your left hand behind you, put the right hand in the left leg and begin to massage your left leg very gently. Really encourage your legs to rotate in the hips. Occasionally bending the leg, allowing the leg behind you to turn and turn. Hang out, listen to your breathing. You have another go when you're ready. Feel how the ribs can help you, the pelvis can help you. Make it more and more pleasurable, fun, nice and easy. Explore the universe inside yourself and through this exploration, we're going to really help to improve everything within us. Okay, let that go. When you're ready, take your right hand behind you and with your left hand, massage along the right leg towards the foot, come back and swap over your hands, go down the other leg, make it very pleasant. 
E with the flow up to your pelvis. Really allow your pelvis to really move you there. And every now and then you can bend the leg that you're massaging and roll through the other leg. Come out, listen to your breathing. Have another go when you're ready. Also, you can explore the distance between the legs. You can bring the legs a little closer together. Wider apart, and what feels good for you. And you'll discover that just through massaging yourself, you become more flexible. As your awareness improves, the way you function improves, well, mechanically, we're improving immensely and we're also improving the inner workings of the nervous system. Let that go and just sit for a moment with your legs nicely crossed. Look ahead and you can close your eyes and just notice how sitting feels. How is the quality of your breathing? How do you connect with yourself, the universe inside you, and how do you sense the space around you, behind you, to your sides and in front of you? Okay, and let that go. Come rest on your right side. And when you rest on your side, bend your legs. If you want a pillow, I've got a pillow out. But you may find that you want a pillow, you can tie without a pillow. And you just go for whatever feels most comfortable for you right now. It may be different from day to day. Stretch both your arms in front of you. Settle down, check in with your breathing. Taking lots of good quality time to breathe in and taking all the time that you need to breathe out, letting everything go. And very slowly and gently with your left hand, begin to reach slowly forward, sliding your hand over the other hand and onto the floor in front of you. Feel how the movement flows through the bones of the arms, the shoulder, deep into the ribs. Then you can slide the left hand back to the right hand and gradually let the hand come along your arm, a little to your elbow. Then again, very gently, you reach forwards and feel especially what's happening deep in your chest. What's happening with the left side of the chest? How does it move over the right side of your chest? You can stop in different places, do little movements and bigger movements. Really encourage your chest to move as you reach forwards. Think of your chest twisting towards the floor. And the next time your hands are together, pause for a moment, close your eyes, settle right down. Check in with your breathing. Now keep the hands together and think about what we did before when we were laying on our backs with the pelvis. Keeping the hands together and the feet together, 
just using the weight of the pelvis, slowly tilt the left side of the pelvis slightly forward. So you feel the left hip and the left knee sliding forwards. And then very gently tilt the left side of the pelvis a little backwards and feel the left knee sliding a tiny bit backwards. And keep repeating. Don't go as far as you can. Again, be very happy with not knowing how far you can go, but instead exploring how you can make the movement easier. Notice any unnecessary work, maybe in the muscles of the right leg or any other part of your body. Feel where you can let go more, as if it's just the weight of your pelvis moving you. And here, your lower spine is doing a very pure rotation. Can you get some sense of that? Maybe you feel some movement also going into your ribs, but pay special attention to your lower spine. And let that go, just rest. When you rest, be with your innermost feelings and sensations. Now, very softly, begin to slide the left side of the pelvis and the left hand a little bit forwards. And then gently slide the left side of the pelvis and the hand a little backwards and go very, very small and easy. So really take it easy. Feel how the head and the pelvis are rolling and how the spine's moving. Notice how the left side of you is moving over the right side of you. Really feel how you can just use the weight of your bones. Look out for muscles wanting to work unnecessarily hard. Feel where you can let go more and more. Be sure to explore it with the eyes closed sometimes, then with the eyes open. The smoother these movements are, the better for your joints, your eyes. And now when you are deep, make the movement much smaller and begin to take the pelvis one way and the hand the opposite way. Don't worry how good or not good you do it, just make it easy, keep breathing. You can break it down, you can move just the left side of the pelvis forwards, then take the hand back, and take the hand forwards, then move the pelvis back. And you can try and do it simultaneously. Don't go far, keep it really tight, feeling the upper spine and the lower spine simultaneously rotating in opposite directions. And let that go, pause, have a good rest. Check in with your breathing again and really take your time to breathe here. Feeling how and where the breath flows through you. Now put the fingertips of the left hand on your breastbone and let your elbow rest on you. Make sure, of course, you're comfortable. And by the way, you can always rest on your back, have a little break before I ask you to rest on your back. And even during the movements, every now and then have your own special exclusive rest if it feels nice to do so. And here in this position, keep the tip of your nose and your breastbone lined up and just use the weight of your bones to roll you a little backwards and return. Now, try and keep your pelvis resting where it is. But that doesn't mean squeezing your buttocks and your tummy and your legs to keep the pelvis locked. Just let it rest there, let everything rest. And if your pelvis moves, let it move. But notice it moved, but see if you can I actually encourage the pelvis to remain more quiet and still. Every now and then you can let the pelvis move. It's quite nice. You'll feel your left knee sliding and 
moving as you do that. So you can do that a few times and then again, try and keep the pelvis still to try and really create good movement in the chest. Rolling back where it's easy, the tip of the nose and the breastbone stay lined up. Okay, let that go. Hold them to your forehead with the palm of the left hand. Again, encourage your pelvis to remain quiet and keep the tip of the nose and the breastbone lined up and begin to roll your head back. The breastbone goes with you. The pelvis moves, the way it's fine. Yeah, the next time, encourage it to stay resting. And as you all back, notice your nose becomes a little nosy and can begin to explore a little tiny bit further than where the breastbone goes to. And then gently, gently, you gradually return and repeat. So you roll back, feel where you can relax. And relax into your legs, your arms, your chest. Feel free to explore micro movements in different places. Just using the weight of your own bones to move you there. And enjoy that moment when the tip of the nose becomes nosy and begins to explore a little bit further than the breastbone, which means you're creating a different kind of twist in the spine, really improving the spine. Okay, let that go. And now hold your forehead with the elbow up in the air and the fingertips by the right side of your forehead. And if you want to, you can look at the left elbow and just gently begin to roll back. Again, the tip of the nose and the breastbone travel together at first. And then notice when the nose becomes a bit nosy and begins to twist a little further. And you can slowly return. And you can also explore taking the elbow forwards towards the floor in front of you. Again, play with it. You can let the pelvis travel with you sometimes. Feeling the hip moving, the knee moving, and then encourage the pelvis just to rest. Don't clench any muscles to hold the pelvis in place. Just really let go of the weight of the pelvis. Find how you can really mobilize your chest. Always feeling where you can relax more and more. Breathing slowly, moving slowly. Okay, wonderful. Let that go. And if you have got a pillow, if it's comfortable, get rid of it and lengthen your right arm under your head. And of course, you modify anything for your comfort. If it's not comfortable, you adjust in any way. Take your left arm straight ahead of you. And begin to explore, sliding the left hand very gently forwards and encourage your ribs to twist and turn. So more of your chest turns towards the floor, your nose comes to the floor, and even let your right arm rotate in the shoulder joint and come back. Really feel how you're rolling through your bones and joints here, doing only what's easy and pleasant. Stop in different places, take long breaths, do little micro movements. Really let the middle part of your body and the upper body soften and twist and come to life. Often this part of the body can become almost rotten in people. I don't want that to happen to you. Keep it fresh and let it become softer and softer. Okay, pause, have a good rest. 
You can stay here, you can always rest on your back if you wish. Are you comfortable? Now, very, very softly, begin to float your left forefinger a little bit up away from the floor and let it sink down. Feel the weight of the finger on the floor and move on to the next finger. Float the middle finger up just the way it's easy. Let it sink down. Feel the weight of it on the floor. Then move on to your ring finger. Float up the ring finger. Let it sink down. Feel the weight of the ring finger on the floor. Move on to the little finger. Let the little finger float up and softly it sinks down. Feel the weight of it on the floor. And keep going. You can also explore the thumb. As you do this, see if you can feel maybe some small little micro movements in your arm. Maybe yes, maybe no. Just notice what you feel. Before you lift the finger, make sure the finger that's just come down, you're really letting go of the weight of it into the floor. And then pause, have a good rest. Now, when you're ready, gently lift your forefinger and lengthen it at the same time. And then let it settle right down. Then move on to the next finger, lengthen the finger as you float it up. Then you let it settle down. You move on to the next finger, lengthening and floating up, letting it sink down, feel the weight of it on the floor, then you move on to the next finger along. Then you let it sink down, keep going, you can tie the thumb as well. Take your time. It can be quite interesting to look at your hand and try and feel and see what happens with the hand. Are there any movements that flow through the bones of the arm? Are you noticing the small, subtle little movements? Once you've explored that enough, have a very good rest. When you feel ready, lengthen all the fingers and float them up. And then really softly let them sink down and Feel how they rest into the floor. Then repeat again. You, again, you can look at the hand. Notice how it's changing in shape. Maybe you can see some little movements going into the arm as well. Or maybe you can even feel them. You can encourage also when the hand, when the fingers come down, let the fingers slide a little towards you and then slide them away from you. So your hand does this funny jellyfish-like movement. And pause, have a good rest. When you feel ready, begin to Lengthen the fingers, lift them up, and then lift the palm of the hand up, but keep the wrist on the floor. 
And gently the hand comes down, the fingers come down, and the rest. And then again, when you feel ready, lengthen the fingers, float them up, and gently let the palm of the hand float up to softly come down. And then when you're ready, as you do this movement, begin to lengthen the hand away, lengthen the palm away, and allow that movement to roll your ribs so your chest turns towards the floor, your nose comes to the floor much like before, then really gently return again. And feel nice connections through the whole of yourself, especially into the chest, but notice subtle movements going into your pelvis. See if the ribs and the chest can turn and move before the pelvis moves a little. You can stop in different places, small micro movements, it's quite nice to lengthen a little, come back, and also explore keeping the legs spent but moving the knees somewhere else. You can move the knees a little further down if you wish, but keep the legs spent, do the same thing. You can move the knees further up. What's interesting, every slightly different position, you take your legs, it affects the position of your pelvis and your spine. You can explore that. Lengthen the arm and adjust the legs from there. Just have fun. Be very curious, feel what's happening deep inside. Okay, let that go. Stretch your right arm ahead of you again. Put your left hand on top of the right arm and very lightly slide your left hand forwards and across to your elbow. If you want, you can go a little further back to your chest if you wish. But notice how the chest and your arm and your hand has become super light. You should feel a great light quality to the arm and the chest. Let that go. Have a good rest flat on your backs. If you don't need the pillow, take it away. Close your eyes and settle right down. Take a few nice long breaths to help you to settle down and pay attention to how and where the floor supports you now. Play a nice little game with yourself called sense or spot or feel any differences. How is the quality of your awareness. How are the legs coming out of the hips? Notice how the arms are rotated and the spaces between the fingers. And when you're ready, please come onto your left side. If you want a pillow, you have a pillow. If not, you don't have one. And lengthen both your arms straight ahead of you. Make sure you're very comfortable. And begin to explore very slowly, sliding your right hand a little forwards to touch the floor. And slide your right hand to your left hand and little along your arm to your elbow and take your time. Go deep inside yourself. Use the movement of your hand to really improve your spine, your hips, 
your ribs, let the movement really flow through you. The next time the hands are together, pause, rest. Keep the feet and the hands together and just letting the weight of the pelvis move you. Tilt the right side of the pelvis forwards, your knee slides a tiny bit forwards. And gently take the right side of the pelvis a little backwards and don't go as far as you can. Go to places where you feel you could go further if you wanted to. Even if it means making the movement very, very small and tiny. Feel what's happening in the lower spine. And let that go, have a rest. Take your time to breathe to help you to settle and rest a little deeper. When you feel ready, very gently and softly slide the right hand forwards and tilt the right side of the pelvis a little forwards. And then gently take the right hand and the right side of the pelvis a little backwards. And enjoy the ride you take your body on. Feel the left side of your body stays where it is while your right side is moving over the left side and enjoy how the spine is rotating. Explore sometimes with the eyes open and the eyes closed. And always feel where you can rest and relax deeper. Even into your toes, fingers. chest, the neck, jaws, the tongue. Maybe you can let your mouth open a little. And then make the movement much, much smaller, like tiny, barely moving at all. And have a go at taking the pelvis one way and your hand the opposite way. You can do one, then the other. And you can make it a simultaneous movement. And let that go, have a good rest. Please place the fingertips of the right hand on your breastbone. And using the weight of your bones and encouraging the pelvis to rest still, begin to roll your head backwards so the tip of the nose and the breastbone move together. And then gently return. And be happy if your pelvis does move or if it doesn't move. Every now and then you can let it move, just encourage the movement to go further through you and then make it smaller and encourage the pelvis to stay still. So you can really begin to mobilize different parts of yourself and to really improve the spine. Explore little micro movements then bigger movements. Sometimes it's really nice to explore super small micro movements, even exploring the border between movement and imagining the movement. Ah, and you can breathe, rest, so nice. Okay, let that go. Hold your forehead with the right hand, with the fingertips and the top of the head, the elbow down. Very slowly, keep the nose and the breastbone lined up, begin to roll back. Gradually, when the nose wants to get more nosy, let it go a little further than the breastbone. And then gently return and repeat several times, very slowly. Be in no hurry to get anywhere, but enjoy the movement itself. Explore what the pelvis does. Can you let it rest without it moving? You can let it rest and let the movement flow into the pelvis sometimes if you want to. And then adjust your hands. Your elbow is up, your fingertips are on the left side of the head. 
do the same thing. You can look at the right elbow as you follow it back. Notice when the nose goes a little further than the breastbone. You can also explore taking your elbow forwards to the floor in front of you. Okay, let that go. Have a very good rest. When you feel ready, please lengthen your left arm up on the floor and rest your head on the left arm. Take your right arm in front of you and begin to explore gently sliding the right hand a little forwards and returning. And really enjoy how you're rolling. Let the long left arm rotate as well. Encourage more of your chest to come to the floor, but without forcing it, just letting the weight of your bones do the work for you. Make it really soothing and very pleasurable. Okay, let that go. Pause. And very softly float the right forefinger up and let it sink down. Feel the weight of the finger on the floor, then move into your next finger. And keep going through all your fingers one by one. You can change the pattern, it doesn't have to be how it was on the other side. You can Reverse and go the other way if you want to, or work on the one finger a few times, then move on to the next finger. Always feel the weight of the finger on the floor before you lift that finger or the next finger. Letting go more and more. Okay, when you feel you've explored this enough, have a good rest. When you're ready, begin to lengthen the right forefinger, then lift it. And then let it rest back down. And you can move on to the next finger when you're ready. You can look at the hand, see if you can see any little movements in there, or try and feel what's happening deep inside. What do your knuckles do? Let's have a good rest. When you already think of lengthening all the fingers and then lifting them up off the floor as if they're floating up and let them rest back down to the floor. When you're ready, do it again with less effort, more feeling. Then you can look at the hand and really feel how you're changing the shape of the hand. You can also encourage the fingers to curl up a little and then lengthen them after. This is like a perfect antidote to modern day life when we use computers, tablets, phones, and all sorts of these electronic devices, which can create a lot of tension in the fingers, the hands, which can get into the depths of your nervous system and your body. Try with eyes closed several times, then open. Okay, 
Okay, let it all go. If you're a yogi who's serious about practicing mudras, that's hand gestures or mudra meditations, this is really beneficial for improving those channels. When you're ready, very gently and softly, lengthen the fingers, float them up and float the palm up, but keep the wrist on the floor. And come down, and then you can have a rest, and do it again. Even this, feel how you can do it with less effort every time. How can you make it smoother, more fluid, more soothing, more pleasurable, more comfortable? Can you feel any movement flowing through the arms, or the right arm especially here? You may actually feel the movement going into the ribs and little micro movements in the left arm you're lying on. Okay, let that go and rest. Take some long breaths to help you to rest a little deeper. When you feel ready, gently lengthen all the fingers, let them float up, float the palm up. Begin to gently reach away with the palm. Let the ribs help you, let your left arm roll, your head rolls. Take your time to come back again. You can rest and then have another go. And even when you're moving, try and rest. Feeling where you can relax more and more. And then have fun exploring the position of your legs. Keep the legs bent so you can take the feet behind you, have a go there. Don't try and get onto your tummy, just think of your chest twisting to the floor. Find your favorite place to put your legs. Each time do it with less effort, more and more feeling. Really get a sense of how your fingers connect deep into your ribs and deep into your spine. Okay, wonderful, let that go. Take your left arm in front of you, put your right hand on top. If you want to push it onto your head, you can grab one. And lightly reach forwards with the right hand. And you can slide your hand along to your elbow, where you can go further towards your chest if you wish. You to do what feels good. But notice there's a nice light quality in your ribs, your arm, your hand. All that tension melted away. Let it all go. Have a good rest flat on your backs. Close your eyes, settle down. <sighs> Take some long breaths to help you to rest a little deeper. Begin to pay attention to where and how the floor supports you. Whenever you feel some part of you which gets support from the floor, allow those parts of you to invite yet more support from the ground and feel what happens deep inside. Maybe other parts of you begin to soften and let go a little. Notice how the legs are lengthening out of the hips, how they're rotated. Notice how the arms lengthen out of the shoulders, how they 
rotated. Where the palms facing, noticing the fingers, do they feel different from before? Feel the spaces between the fingers, is there some change there too? How are the shoulder blades resting on the floor? If you take your time to breathe, Notice how and where the ribs are moving and what the movements you feel flowing through you. Let go of the weight of your head, roll your head a little from side to side. You maybe feel more of your head resting on the floor, does your neck feel a little softer? Let that go, bend your legs, your feet stand on the floor and use your feet to gently rock the top of the pelvis to the floor, then the bottom of the pelvis to the floor. Make it lighter and softer and easier. Notice how the spine flows through your chest now. And let that go, roll to one side, come to sit up. Let's just check out one or two movements that we did earlier on. Bend your left leg behind you, right leg in front. Lean on the right hand, put the left hand on the right leg and just begin to massage your right leg. Let everything move. Notice if your hand maybe feels wider or softer and even more sensitive. You can feel your leg more clearly and how the hand mobilizes your ribs, your spine, and your pelvis now. And then gently come over to the other side. Lean onto your right hand. Notice how your left hand experiences the other leg, or the right hand experiences your left leg, but my hands are muddled there, and feel the fur. Does your hand feel more sensitive? Can you feel what's happening inside your ribs, your spine more clearly? And tie with both the legs long. Just feel what's lighter and what you can sense more clearly. And you can hang out, breathe, of course. Explore the bending of the legs. Once you've explored that enough, gently cross your legs in a very basic cross-legged position and look ahead. Notice how sitting feels now. How do your hands feel here? So if you like practicing these hand gestures, these mudras, you'll probably find there's something different about it. How is your breathing? You can explore bringing the tip of the thumb and the tip of the forefinger together, letting it go, let them separate, then open a little, then go to the next tip of the finger with the thumb. And spend a long time investigating different fingertips, or all the fingertips. You can explore breathing, inhaling, opening the hands, Exhaling, allowing the tips of the fingers and the thumb to come together. Get a sense of breathing with your whole self. Or just let the hands rest and notice in sitting how you connect with your inner self, with the universe inside you, and at the same time sensing the space around you. You feel more connected with yourself and the world. When you feel ready, find a nice easy way to come to simply stand up and look ahead. Let your arms rest beside you. Notice in standing how you feel the length of the arms, the length of the spine, the 
the length of the legs. Notice the spaces between the fingers. Maybe feel your face has become softer as well. And the eyes maybe feel softer. And move your shoulders. Do they feel like they have more space to move inside you? Walk around, maybe feel the arms have a little more swing in them. You'll probably find your balance better on your feet. I hope you enjoyed that little practice and take the benefits into the rest of your morning, afternoon, evening, night, or wherever time is, wherever you are. And I hope you enjoyed that. Lots of love. Take care, stay well, be good, and be lucky. <laughs>